Hello Virgo, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your 5-minute mini 5 cast. General advice as always guys, I'll be using these two decks by Mystic Moon, the Twin Flame Journey Oracle as well as the Divine Masculine Revelations deck. I'll clarify everything with my 10 yellow tarot. So this reading specifically focusing on whoever represents the Divine Masculine energy in this relationship, male or female. All right, it's just energy. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some insight here. Whoever represents the divine masculine energy. What's going on with this person, Virgo? Doesn't have to be a twin flame connection. That's just the name of the deck, okay? Someone's feeling bound to you. Okay, that resembles a very similar energy to the devil card in tarot. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. There could be this unhealthy attachment that they have to you. But I am feeling you're no longer with this person. You might have let them go. You surrendered this connection. Part of the reason why you did that could have been because you were dealing with an individual who was unawakened, okay? Let me grab one more card here. We have guide. All right, so maybe somehow they still feel drawn to you. They're being guided back to you. And I just happen to glance at the bottom of the deck. We've got awakening. So if at one point in time they were not awakened, they seem to be heading towards that direction here. Look at the next card. We've got commitment followed by twin flame followed by divine masculine so we are focusing on the masculine energy for this reading this could be a twin flame divine masculine for you divine feminine and maybe part of this unawakened state was that they weren't ready to settle down they weren't really ready to commit to you so let's grab a couple cards from the revelations deck here what else do we need to know about the divine masculine they're already coming through in this reading Virgo. What else about the masculine? Words. Our conversations still linger in my mind. They still think about all of those things that you guys talked about. Wow. They, they haven't forgotten. Okay, let's grab another. There's something that you said to them. They still think about it. It made such an impact. We do have karma coming through. I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. So if they did you wrong, Divine Feminine, this masculine, they're feeling it. They are feeling it. Let's grab some tarot here. Angels and spirit guides, please, focusing on the Divine Masculine energy. What else do we need to know about the masculine I have a feeling life hasn't been so easy for your masculine. That could have resulted in them finally waking up to work on themselves and their own shadows, perhaps. We've got the star, which is a beautiful card. Some of you could be dealing with a masculine who could be an Aquarian, okay? But we're not so focused on the signs here. I feel that there's still the opportunity for you guys to find your way back to each other if that's something that you would like to focus on for this reading because we do have this twin flame bond and so even through distance and time apart you're still feeling connected to your divine masculine divine feminine this is also a card of self-care so maybe during this time you've had to put yourself first put yourself first on your own priority list this, of course, can be tapped into a fulfilled wish. So that's still possible. And then we've got the Ten of Cups right here for you guys to still find happiness in this connection. This is what it is that they're hoping for and wishing for when it comes to the masculine. They still see you as a life partner. Perhaps part of this commitment is that they would like to get married someday and to have a family. Some of you guys might have already had 
children from prior relationships. This could even be a blended family for some of you guys. But this is confirming, perhaps, Virgo, that you walked away from your masculine here with that Five of Swords because there were some challenges there and that created some sort of tower moment. It was difficult. It was very challenging. And so I feel what this masculine is now telling you and sharing with you is they're willing to put in the effort. They're willing to put in all of the necessary work for this to happen. And it really does come down to collaboration. So you guys have to have the same vision of what it is that you're wanting. I feel at the end of the day with that 10 of pentacles, they see you as a perfect match for them. They feel feel this very strong bond. I'm not surprised to see that we actually did get the Twin Flame card coming forward, maybe financially too. Virgo, you're doing a lot better, but you've got your masculine coming in as the Emperor, so they want to build that foundation with you. They want to share a life with you. They're ready to take control of this and make it happen for real, for real. <laughs> All right, so I'll leave it there, guys. If you're interested in your own reading, that info is down below. See you next time.